Hello and welcome to the heart of the Chinatown Boston. My name is Yi, and today I will be walking you through some affordable and authentic good eats in Boston's Chinatown. So here I am at May's Cake House, and it is one of the local favorites. It's a little bit out of the heart of the main commercial center, but it's well worth the walk. One thing that's really popular in Southern China is dim sum. So a lot of the things that you'll find in this bakery and some other bakeries are things that you like the sesame rolls, egg tarts, all the different buns, and also you can get this. This is chong fun, so it's rice rolls. Earlier in the day, they'll have ones that have shrimp in it, or fried dough in the middle, or cilantro, or beef. This was actually two sixty. Everything else here is about like one dollar or ninety cents, and some soy sauce, which is just a perfect plain meal. Break off a piece. Make sure not to eat the paper at the bottom. The outside is really plain. It's really soft. It's just so fluffy. And the inside pork is so juicy. It has like a sweet Chinese barbecue flavor. It's definitely the perfect combination. Another item that is really nice is their Mexican or Mosica bao, and it's a perfect combination of sweet and salty. The next bakery is Top Bread. At Top Bread, there are a ton of really freshly baked buns that have sausages, meats, cheese inside. If you like cheese, I would recommend the Portuguese egg tart because it has a little bit of a cheesecake flavor. Their cake selection is also impeccable. They're wonderfully designed and have very cute cartoons often on them. So right now I'm in the hallway of one of the best dim sum places in Chinatown. It used to be an opera house. So Chinatown is actually one of the only places in Boston that is zoned as a red light district. So before, this theater used to show kung fu movies and families would go see the kung fu movies and then after hours they would actually show pornos. So sometimes you would catch the end of it. Um, unknowingly. <laughs> it later also turned into an opera house where they had live theater. Right now it's converted into one of the most bustling dim sum places. I definitely recommend you come on the mornings on a weekend because there's tons of people and they have loads of different carts and different dim sum that you can choose from. So. <laughs> Right next door is one of my personal favorites. It's called New Saigon Sandwich. And this is a great place because they have really affordable lunches that you can just grab and go, whether or not you want spring rolls that are vegetarian or shrimp, or you want a rice plate or a noodle plate or fried rice. And they have banh mi's for about $4.50 to $5. The bread is always crispy and flaky and so fresh with a good combination of spice and cilantro and vegetables and pickles, so definitely a place to check out. Another favorite is Mai Tai Vegan Cafe. They have a wide range of vegetarian meats that are really tasty in any of their dishes, such as Pad Thai or curry. This is a great place to come for lunch because they have a lunch special that's about $8.50. If you ever want a quick and easy lunch, Ding Ho Fast Food is a place to go. They have dumplings, lo mein noodles, fried rice, chicken curry, really a lot of the classic Chinese American dishes. And they have a combo which is $3 and a large which you have two choices for $5. The last place that I would recommend for lunch is Clay Pot Cafe. The place is small. They have a good variety of foods. I would recommend anything that has Chinese sausage. And what's pictured here is a vegetarian dish that has pan-fried lotus, vegetables, and celery over rice. And it's just something you can't beat. I'm going to bring you guys to Tito. Tito has a lot of really good and contemporary flavors. And they also have taiyaki. It's always super crowded, super packed. So let's go check it out. If you need a 
nice fruit for a snack. Beach Street, there's usually somebody selling a wide variety of fruits and vegetables. Another place I would recommend for a snack is Tea Bar. It's a chain, but they have a wide variety of fresh juices, bubble tea as usual, and the Chinese crepe, which is a perfect combination of lettuce, egg crepe, pork floss, hot dog if you want it, and a really nice fried piece of dough in the middle. This over here is two of the most contemporary restaurants in Chinatown. There's soju and there's ruckus ramen. After soju is a little bit more pricey, but if you're really looking for an upscale Chinese Asian fusion experience, I recommend you go here. Ruckus, um, really quality ramen. If you like spicy food, Spicy World is definitely your place to go. It is structured like a hot pot restaurant where you can choose anything that you want to put inside of it. And it's $1 per skewer. So I have lotus, tofu, rice cake, and I would definitely be conservative about the spice level because it is hot, hot, hot. So here I am at Jokising, which is also a local favorite. Yeah. Jokising actually is a derogatory term that Chinese people give to Chinese Americans in that nature, a lot of the food is very catered to the American palate, but they also have a lot of really good Chinese classics like tomato and eggs. Let's go head on in. So right here I have the laksa, which is the coconut curry vegetable soup with noodles. And then here's some jok, just rice porridge with some fried cooler. Make sure that you don't miss if they have free hot tea here. Another good place is Hong Kong Eatery. I like Hong Kong Eatery because they have really good affordable combinations that are under $10. You can get wonton soup, you can get short ribs, you can get noodles, lo mein. I also like the bitter melon and tofu dish which is very healthy and super filling. Of course, favorite is also the Gourmet Dumpling House because they have some of the best soup dumplings. The filling to skin ratio is one of the best. It's very thin outside dumpling skin, but then the soupy, really moist and flavorful meat inside just complements it perfectly. I'm going to quickly run through the desserts. First off is double chin. If you want something really extravagant and you are visiting, this is definitely a place to put on your list. I think that their desserts are the strongest. They have huge Hong Kong toasts filled with ice cream and tons of fillings. If you want something lighter, there's also cheese tea at Royal Tea, which is super nice. There's also rolled ice cream across the street. And I would recommend anything with Pop Rocks because that's really unique and it's so fun to eat. So the reason why I shot this video is because food is one of the common threads that ties a lot of cultures together and as Chinatown is becoming one of the most heavily developed and gentrified areas, a lot of the restaurants that we now know are struggling to survive as the rent increases are getting higher with luxury apartments and also Tufts Medical School which is coming in. So really this video is to show some of my favorite local eats. It's part of preserving the history that has shaped Boston as a whole. If you don't want to eat food but still want to support the community, I would check out Boston Chinatown Neighborhood Center to see how you can help Chinatown stay alive.